Hi, welcome back to Examining Life, a life that's worth living. My name is Amanda. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Every Wednesday, I host Wisdom Wednesdays where I choose a quote and analyze the wisdom behind that quote. I hope you enjoyed my first three episodes on Socrates' quote, Know Thyself. If you haven't already, go check them out in my Wisdom Wednesday playlist. Today's Wisdom Wednesday episode will also be on another well-known Socrates quote, which is, the unexamined life is not worth living. And Socrates said this in the Apology. And I decided to use this quote because, well, first of all, there is a lot of wisdom behind it, and also because this is the quote that inspired the name for my channel examining life. This is also a natural transition from the last three episodes, which as I said were on Socrates' quote, know thyself, because in order to know yourself it's likely that you'll have to examine life. And first I want to put this quote in context of where it is in the apology and the sentence that it's in because it actually isn't a sentence on its own that Socrates just randomly said. If I say again that daily to discourse about virtue and of those other things about which you hear me examining myself and others is the greatest good of man and that the unexamined life is not worth living, are you still less likely to believe me? The Apology is Plato's work where Socrates defends himself after being accused of being impious and corrupting the youth. He defends himself by providing examples to prove his loyalty to Athens and his contributions to making Athens a better place by conversing and questioning the youth, which did not actually corrupt them. But obviously that's a matter of perspective because he was being accused of corrupting them by questioning them and having them analyze various virtues. He also accepts his fate of being put to death and he makes his argument for why he doesn't want to be exiled even though that would save his life. Okay, now let's get into the quote. The unexamined life is not worth living. There is a double negative here, unexamined and not, so I'm going to make that a positive and say that the examined life is worth living because I think talking in positive terms confuses things less <laughs> than talking in the double negative sense. So what does this mean? The two key words in this quote are examined and worth both of which are highly subjective and vary for each person and each scenario. Let's take a look at the word worth first. The word worth implies some amount of value, and something that is not worth implies that there is little to no value. There are several key questions that I want to propose when analyzing the word worth in this context. First, what are the criteria to judge whether something is of value and worth doing? How is this value measured? How much examining is needed to add enough value to make life worth living? These are all very complex questions. I'm not going to attempt to answer these questions in this video. However, please let me know in the comments below what you think of these and how do you interpret the word worth to determine whether a life is worth living. Next, let's talk about the word examine. What does it mean to examine something? What needs to be examined? Does everything in someone's life need to be examined? Or only certain things in order to make his or her life worth living? I would say there is definitely a thinking component which can include asking questions and analyzing various scenarios and alternatives. I also think there is an awareness component to purposefully reflect and analyze one's life. On the other hand, I wouldn't say that someone is examining his or her life if other people or external forces are making decisions and thinking for them. Now let's look at two examples. One of an examined life and one of an unexamined life. I imagine that an examined life is one that someone sets out goals and a plan 
for his or her life. One's life does not always need to go as planned. However, there is at least a vision for what he or she wants to accomplish in his or her various sectors of his or her life. And some of these include relationships, friendships, career, school, interests, hobbies, a variety of different things that make a whole person. Furthermore, when making a decision, someone who examines their life may consider multiple scenarios and possible outcomes to determine the best route, rather than just living based on routine, confirmation bias, or gut instinct. Although sometimes there is something to be said for going with your gut instinct, even though this doesn't typically involve examining anything, because it can give a person important signals about a situation that he or she might be in. If a person needs to make changes in any area of his or her life, someone that examines their life can consciously plan the best way to implement those changes. Is this person's life worth living? I would say it seems so, because there's a heightened sense of, an, of awareness and consciousness and although sometimes overanalyzing or overthinking can have a negative impact on some people so there should be a balance um, because it would be pretty ironic if sometimes examining life made life not worth living. <laughs> Um, but I can envision a scenario in which that could be the case. But for practical purposes, I would say that the person who examines their life, their life is worth living. But of course, again, that is really up to each individual. Now let's take an example of someone who does not examine life. I imagine this as being someone who either needs or allows others to think for him or her. And I put the words needs in there because sometimes they can't do things for themselves and I'm very empathetic to say someone with a disability or various forms of impairment. So one either does not or cannot think for him or herself. Please note that this is a very simplified version and different scenarios in different people's lives require different approaches. But given that thinking seems to be a skill that is inherently required for someone to examine their life, a person probably needs to think on his or her own in order to examine his or her life. Therefore, one cannot examine their life if other people are thinking for them. And please note that someone can still think without thinking for themselves. So when I say someone doesn't think for themselves, I don't mean that there are no thoughts. They can still have thoughts, it's just they didn't come to those thoughts on their own. So is the unexamined life not worth living? I would say it is still worth living. I'm not the one to say whose life is worth or not worth living. And I won't say someone's life is not worth living. However, I think the underlying premise that is not stated in this quote is, is the person who doesn't examine their life flourishing or living well? A life worth living and living well can be two different things. Although they can be the same thing depending on the person. Can this person have improvement in their life? Of course. But I would say the person who examines his or her life could also use improvement in their life. However, the person who examines their life probably has a higher probability of consciously making choices and implementing said improvements that he or she wants to make in his or her life. Each individual can determine for themselves whether or not the life they are currently living is worth living. If it is worth living, then that's great. They should keep doing what makes them happy and what is best for them. However, if one does not think the life that he or she is currently living is worth living, then he or she can examine his or her life to pinpoint where to make changes and do so accordingly. I do understand that in some cases, making those changes are easier said than done due to external forces or various situations. However, 
even in these scenarios, I think there can be choices that are made in terms of outlook and having a different perspective and mindset. Thank you so much for watching this week's Wisdom Wednesday. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of the quote, the unexamined life is not worth living. And please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Stay tuned every Wednesday and happy travels. Thank you. Bye.